Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn vehicles too large for the workbench. Yes, that is a cruise ship. So let's say for some reason you want to spawn in this cruise ship right here. You click it and then it says it's too large for the workbench. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually fix this. So what you're going to want to do is click escape and then you're going to go to this add on editor button up here and then you're going to click select a location to mod and you're going to choose which island you're on. So if you're on creative base, do that one right there. But I am on multiplayer island. So it is somewhere down here. There it is right here. Multiplayer island base. I'm going to click that and then to actually add the vehicle I want to add that's too big. We're going to click edit objectives. So we click that and now we have this entire island right here to modify. So to actually add our vehicle, we're going to click this vehicle icon on the bottom, which is add vehicle. And there you go. So you just click this. Let's say I want to spawn in this cruise ship right here for some reason. So there we go. I now have my cruise ship and we're just going to put it right here. And to actually rotate this, you're going to want to click on your vehicle and then you can click rotate at the bottom right here and then you can move it using these arrows. So you can move it side to side, up and down, literally every direction. And then of course, if you want to move it again with these arrows, you can just move it side to side if you wanted to just like that and you can actually spawn multiple vehicles doing this so if i wanted to i could spawn in an entire second cruise ship right next to it but that will probably crash your game but what i will do is spawn in the super yacht right next to it and then if you want to you can select the vehicle you're using and then you can select is static on so that'll make sure the vehicle you spawn in will not move at all and then you can do keep vehicle active and then show on map so make sure you want to do this if you want to see your vehicle on the map to actually track it down and then if you're doing like a coast guard role play you can do transponder on so that'll have the transponder on for this entire vehicle so you can actually locate it. I'll be showing you guys how to spawn this in. So you're going to want to go to add on overview. So you go to add on overview right here and then you go to test location. So you're kind of testing what you just made. Actually, you're going to be playing on it. So here it is. It will be loading in here. It's going to take a little bit. I can tell you that. And there it is. Now we have a cruise ship and a super yacht right next to each other. And we can drive these. These are fully controllable. But you can do the same thing with planes, helicopters, submarines, literally everything you find off of Workshop. But then to get rid of these, you're going to want to click escape and go to your add-on editor right here and do confirm. And that will delete all those vehicles over there. But then you can edit them in here, move them around, do whatever you want to them. And then to actually save this. So let's say you want to save this right here to keep spawning it in. We'll do this. All right. So I named mine test. We saved it as test. So we can go to save right here, go to our test mission. And and then we can keep spawning it in on new games we actually create. So this will always work. But that's basically all there is to it. Make sure you guys do not spawn um, too large of vehicles. It will crash your game. I can guarantee that. But if this was helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. But thanks for watching and goodbye.